Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now here I have five plastic of water or liquid. One, two, three, four, and five. So I will take this plastic to this container and let's see what will happen. Plastic one. see that some of them are foods and some of them are sink uh, here plastic one is food plastic two as a food and plastic three as a food but it's a little bit sink and plastic four and plastic five they are very very sink What happened exactly? It looks similar, but there are sink, food, and sink or food. So, guess first and follow the experiment. Here I have scissor, spindle, plastic, a bowl of salt, a glass, a big container of liquid and here I have a bowl with a small container so let's do the experiment put a glass of water in plastic without adding salt close it strongly Right number. Cut the remain of the bun. Repeat the activity until number five. But now add a small spoon of salt. And then two small spoon of salt. Here it is. Why is there a liquid filled plastic that sinks and float or sink or float? As you can see in the experiment process earlier, it is because there are differences in density due to differences in the content of the liquid that is put into the plastic. This causes differences in interaction between the liquid and the container with the plastic. This relates to the law of Archimedes or buoyancy. There are positive buoyancy, negative buoyancy, and neutral buoyancy. It teaches us to be observant in buying various items or food. We often find products that have less sugar or no sugar in the packaging. Even though there are lots of sugar in the product. Before I use salt, I'm guessing <laughs> of it as sugar. 
In this experiment, we are also taught to not immediately believe in everything that looks the same when in fact different. Of the point is, not easy to be lied to, especially for women like me, who will become household food distributors who are obligated to maintain the quality of what eaten by their family. Ha 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 